Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you Diana's strongest jungle build at the moment, and she's sitting at a top eight position. You wanna go Conquer, Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Grasse, Free Boots, Cosmic with double AP and health. For the actual build part, Nash Rush is really important for soloing, ganking, and shredding down drags, or even taking the uh, Rift Grubs. Your passive is 300% bonus damage against monsters, so the attack speed comes in handy since it's every third auto. Level one, we are gonna start with our Q. So yeah, we're gonna go Nash and a Sork Shoes and a Storm Surge. At that point, we can burst pretty much anyone. And then we'll have Robidon. All squishies get pretty much one tap. We're gonna auto Q. I got loads of extra attack speed for three seconds after we use any ability. Level two, you do wanna go for W. Keeps you really, really healthy. It's technically a longer cooldown than your E, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, this red buff just won't die, Willy. We're going to wait till our attack speed runs out, and then we'll use our W. This is most important at level 2, because at level 3, you can basically perma-cycle your abilities to keep your attack speed up right here. Blessing of the Lunari. And then we'll continue to full clear. Diana's not a very good invader. She has bad defensive mobility, because she has to have an enemy to jump to. You don't really see her in invade too much. Plus her all-in solo potential. Isn't that good? Like against a Lee Sin, a Warwick. Uh, I mean a Volley Bear, you're going to get crushed. She's mostly a clearer and a ganker. She does become good at soloing people, but that's more so as you scale. We used our E late. We put it on full cooldown. I must have missed it on the big one. That is unfortunate. That is a big reason on why you cannot <clears throat> do that. Your Q lasts for three seconds on them. You can consume it with your E and it won't even put your E on cooldown. And if you mess it up, then you'll be sad. So here, for example, we hit him with a Q. You can see it right here. It's going to, when it's going to end, if we E before it ends, then it, our E doesn't have a cooldown. But even with this uh, mismanagement, we should still be able to do about a 317 nearly 317 full hp leashless clear i'm pretty happy with that yeah karma is doable we're gonna get her to qew my teammates are absolutely why do i have a Tarek trundle bot lane what the heck what's going on here i didn't even realize i didn't check my teammates was not expecting that they were not ready for that gank at all, though, I'll tell you. Dude, they didn't use a single ability. I think I might have accidentally showed. We'll see how they react. I'm not going to go bot, though. Just, it seems like a waste of time to me. We'll go ahead and pick up recurve bow. Pick up oracles and head out i guess we can pick up glowing moat we're gonna continue to full clear once we're six we can do something bot side before then i'm not in a hurry trundle and Tark have decent cs they probably know what they're doing besides the fact that they didn't follow my gank they have okay health for now And then our Q's back up right when passive ends. Look at that AoE. It's not truly all the way behind you. It's kind of just like 180 degrees in that. 180 degrees essentially. I'm gonna drop passive for about a second and a half for Q to come up, so we'll just back up. Continue to full clear. <clears throat> Could look for grubs. I don't really want to fight a Wooly Bear right now. I'd rather full clear. If it says he takes Grubs, I'll go over to his Raptors. Use E right as it's about to end. Need to gank bot soon. That's great advice. Oof. So we're not going to use our E till our Q's back up here. I guess we could gank bot. Apparently he didn't have Pillar. He was saving that for next game. Not sure why he wouldn't have that. 
Good reset. We'll see what Draven and Karma are kind of doing. Mm, this is the Tarek stun. Gets him with the dildo. I get him with the QEW. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to jump away. Draven went for Swifties. That's a really weird boot option. We'll get him with the Q auto. Auto E auto. Down he goes. Focus down the Volibear because he's low. They did, had no idea I was there. Auto Q auto. We'll save E. Alright, not bad. Maxed out on Conqueror there. They greeted hard for that. Our Nash gave ridiculous value. Alright, we get him with the Q E W. Beautiful. Tark tanks. Yeah, that that is an extremely decisive outcome. They lose so many minions. And uh, we got some plates. Two plates, three kills. They lose a wave or two. The outcome couldn't have been much better than that. It all came from Javen already being low, having used sums. It was hard for him to kite me out at that point. Go ahead and pick a Blasting Wand. Fiendish. If I could forward Dark Soul, I'd buy it, but I can't. I think a bot flash is something like 11.30 for Draven at least. They're, they're kind of easy for me to gank. If someone has a Displacement, Thresh Flay, Thresh Hook, Blitz Knockup, Trist Art, it can be kind of hard to gank with Diana because her dash is still a dash. It can be cancelled since all they have is a Snare on the Karma. Or I guess Draven technically can cancel my dash, but uh, he's got a really time that well we hit level six pre eight minute mark that's decent for jungle you really want to try to hit it before eight minute mark i don't want to have to flash for this i can hook it around a corner flash qew walk him down i still have my r nice scare and silence that's brutal i have 100 percent kp right now i kind of want to pull these guys together yeah, that's better. So we see the moonlight's about to fade on him because we have him left clicked and we can see up here. Nice. And we see it's about to fade. We'll use E. Keep our attack speed up. Urgot's kind of low. He doesn't have magic resist either. I think I can make this work, especially with my R. I have mana too. Wow, that was a good, that was a good little dodge he had there. His damage is kind of high. Damage is very decent. <laughs> Bro, how is that missing? His hitbox is so much smaller than it looks. It's curving right around him. Seeing on Nash, might as well reset for drag. We'll go ahead and pick up a Dark Soul, then we'll go for Tier Two boots after that. Can't afford a Control Ward. From here, it's tempting to just keep perma full clear gank, full clear gank, full clear gank. You have to look away from that though. So for example, if my R is up, do we really want to be full clearing for 30, 40 seconds and then ganking? Nah, we want to kind of look for the gank now if it makes sense. Maybe go for the drag. Oracles, it is warded, <clears throat> they react. I'll use W. W, you don't have to stand still or cancel an auto to cast, so it's really good for you just breaking a ward. I'll just finish him off with a Q. I see this is warded over here. Vully Bear's top, though. Go ahead and pull this out. QEW. Run, Garen, run. He's got phase rush. He's chilling. Phase rush, Garen's so freaking good. Auto E, auto. He's kind of like an auto reset. We're just making sure to use it before the moonlight fades. Nice. And we'll take his bot side camps. This is really the only time you invade on Diana is when you know the enemy jungler isn't there for the most part. Because like I said, she doesn't have good defensive mobility. She has to be able to dash to an enemy target. So if there's an enemy minion you can retreat to or whatever. I'm going to smite early just because I know he was top side. Gonna hold on to Q to hop this wall. QW. 
I don't know where his bot lane is. I assume they just reset. I mean, I could just wait. I come. Yeah, Volley Brew's right here. Volley mid bot. I hate how you can only ping three times now. It's not enough. You need four pings. We got my R. Draven's still tier twos or whatever. It's pretty quick. This is awarded over here, but there's a wall, so it can't see me quite yet. Get her with the QEW. Auto into R. Pull her back in. She missed up her flash. I still have my E. I'm not going to use it if I don't have to, though, especially since I already consumed the moonlight with the first E. Putting on 18 second cooldown would be bad. Hey, Draven. We're going to get with the QEW. Oof, couldn't connect. He's moving too quick. That Trundle W looks like a GPR. That's way too similar. Time to back. I don't need to stay for this. I can pick up Sork Shoes. I can pick up Amp Tome. It's a pretty good back. Plus, I have a full clear. Volibear was pathing towards top side, so I'll go to my top side jungle. I know I can solo him, particularly since I'm ahead. Diana's really strong first item power spike, stronger than most champions. So, we want to have the opportunity to defend red, possibly kill him. He's kind of top side for sure. And we just keep clearing. You always want to be doing something. Uh, there's, there's a, of course, a farm preference on a champion like Diana because she clears so quickly to where, like, what am I going to go do right now? Top and mid, there's nothing. I'd rather just hit all my camps. We see his raptors are coming up. Yellow's 10 seconds or less. Uh, I mean, we could fight for grubs here if Tarek roamed sooner, but he's so far away. By the time we get there, they're already going to be gone. I just saw the karma top. I can just e Q E over immediately. Q gives vision. I can skip gromp. That's fine. Dash to the other side. And now we're going to consume these camps. I don't think this is worded. Karma's about to cross over for me. She's right here, right here. I don't know which way. Oh, right here. I'll just smite it, whatever. I want it gone. Volley can have grubs. I'll take all of his camps. Their support playing top side made fighting on grubs not very worth it. Plus, their top lanes ahead. A little bit of prior. I mean, Draven's. He's missing some health. We're going to E over, try to get to him, but I mean, he's on Ghost. Just make sure we're using the ability. Our pass is about to fade. We'll pop W. They lose turret. QE. <clears throat> could flash R4. I don't think I could quite reach Draven there. <clears throat> Would have been close. <clears throat> I already got the turret. I'm happy with that outcome. All I have to do is keep farming and win by default. We, <clears throat> we already have a lead and we know Vuli can't out clear us. I actually don't know if there's a single champion in the game right now that can out clear Diana. Pull it back. Whoa, my R missed. I'm shocked. Just go straight past the Vuli. We'll hit him around this wall. Always going this way. My R actually missed her. Must have been just barely. She's tier two boots. Maybe she cleared more. Too much space in between my auto and the R to where I just had to R instead of auto first. If I was tier twos, that probably wouldn't have been the case. I don't want to back. I don't need to back to win this drag fight. I'm already ahead enough. Still at 100% KP. It's games like these that you know if you like weren't playing well or you're tired or hungry, that you would just lose, most likely. Because <clears throat> none of your lanes are winning. None of your lanes are actually like winning without you giving them that push on the swing, you know? Diana can jump over this. It's kind of weird, though. There's a... I think it's a right here. You can reach, but maybe they made it easier. All right, I got it easy that time. I know last season it was hard. There's like two specific spots. I don't know if this season they made it easier or not. Chana wants to split. I don't blame him. Him and Tarek have to be duo. Probably master master players or high diamond players or something. 
Or who knows, maybe they're just a pair of goofballs. They're trying something and having a Diana, big boy Diana on their team is making it look good. Who knows? We're gonna QE on over, we'll use W right as pass is about to fade. I don't need to use Q, I can save it for this. And that, that's speed efficiency, man. This is the core reason why Diana jungle is so good right now. Clears 300% bonus damage on monsters probably needs to be tweaked down to 200%. Needs to be changed in some way. It's so Q E W auto 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 and it's gone. We'll take this since we're here. All right. Might as well push it if we're here. Double is CS. That's sick. Volley has really fast initial clears. In the early levels, right? His first clear. Second clear, and then they get slower and slower and slower with how his damage scales. He's not much of a scaling character. I mean, he can build kind of Nash AP, but that doesn't scale very well for him. They may, he may or may not come over here. Who knows? The primary person tanking Harold or Baron does half damage. That's why Harold kind of takes a while after it slams down. Got it. My Q is about to be up. Got him with the QE. Auto R. Down he goes. Full stat conquer. We could lead into a bigger fight there if we really wanted to. Whenever you get a pick, it's typically a good time to lay Harold. Because that's one less person to defend it. And the enemies aren't going to want to group too heavy against it because they know they're down a person. Pass is about to fade. I'll use W. All right, not bad. We got a full turret. Can't complain about that. Two body slams is a very high value herald. <sighs> Can we get three? Oh, almost. My E's on cooldown here. I don't want to fight this. My Q had missed him, so when I dashed to it, didn't quite go my way. I got my W on or whatever. Oof, I need a... Oof. My flash was buffered. I literally hadn't clicked it, but I clicked it while I was snared and it still went through. Maybe if I pressed S, that would have canceled it. Well played to them, they got me. Two shot downs and we didn't even get the and we didn't even get the inhibitor. That's pretty bad. Go storm surge, we'll go Rabadon. One thousand gold for killing me. That's more than three kills worth of gold. Wild. Looking for a control word. Go Krugs. Red wraps. Full clear down into drag fight. Suppose we're looking for Draven. Orgot's getting pretty fed. In fact, I think their team has more gold than our team has now after they got all those bounties. Because none of, none of us have a bounty gold on our head and they do. That means they have more. It doesn't really count for the drags though. Drags are pretty useful. I like the Hextech drag when I'm on an on hit. Auto champ like Yi or Diana. It feels good having 5%. Especially if you can get three of these drags. 15% extra attack speed's kind of cool. The speed. The faster we kill them, the faster they spawn in. Because they just come up one after another, just like how we did it. So it takes you 40 seconds to clear it. Versus 20 seconds. That's a big difference. Kind of compounds. Eyes running. I don't know where he is. I think he knows. I'm sure acting like he knows. We get her with the QEW. Down he goes. Hey, bully. I have a conquer built up my man. Got he got me the echo slow there. That sucks. Karma didn't get a ward down before she died. That's good. Got him with the Q W. Oof. This is good. My Q missed. Uh, this is awkward. 
It it works though. That was a good Terra car. Auto QE. I'll R. I R'd a little late. I honestly thought Terra wasn't gonna R, so it's kind of hesitant to commit there. I have absolutely zero faith in his R pressing abilities. I'll take red, I'll take wraps, and I'll get drag. I'm not in a rush. We don't even need Soul to win this game. If Soul was pivotal to where, oh, we can't win without it, what are we going to do? Then sure, I would get drag so we can grab it sooner before they outscale, but that's not really the issue here. I almost couldn't reach. I had to re-pivot back into the specific spot. Make sure we have it selected so we can see the moonlight. Cool. And we can back for Rob. We might as well do that. Diana AP scalings are pretty dang good, particularly on passive, considering we can it doesn't have a cooldown really. As long as I don't get hit by Echo Stun, Volley Stun, Karma Snare, I'll be fine. Garen can tank it for sure, or whoever Tarek and Oriana put their crap on, if they're actually willing to use their their stuff on somebody. Then, uh, yeah, they'll be pretty unkillable. Double shields is hard to play against. Orion phase rushes away. Draven Ghost gets a good knock on her. Oh, that sucks. Got a ward at least. Ooh, I can dash to this, dash to him. It didn't give it to me. That's interesting. My Q must have missed it. Because even if you arrive before your Q does, it still refreshes it. Down goes Urgot. We should just Baron off that. I mean, it's 4v4. How are we going to force an end? They have Defender's Advantage. They're not going to want to step up since we're ahead. And we're only up 4 kills. It's funny. That shield. Good grief. That's why you go Green Jungle item on Diana. Green Jungle item plus Diana W is kind of silly. Alright, late smite on my part. We're at 600 AP. Every third auto does an additional 458 magic damage. Q's doing 624. W's doing up to 525 and shielding for 600. So technically is a bigger shield than it is damage. Ease 454. Ease does more damage than I thought it did. It's not even maxed yet. <laughs> Looks like my team wants to end. We'll group for it. <laughs> we have 226 CS. Most CS in the game. Spicy. Uh, I'll just EWR. I don't even need to hold on to my second E. I flash, I got the Karma Flash. I'll hit this. That's GG's, man. Diana's feeling good. I'm going to have to play more of her. You can definitely see why her win rate is what it is right now. Let's look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we did not have the most in the game. Technically, Urgot had the most. Feels bad for damage taken. We were middle-ish for self-mitigated. We were towards the top. And for runes, high value. All in all, Diana's great right now, guys. I'd say she's the best power farm AP jungler in the game. No one can do it faster than her. She, well, heck, I'd say she's the fastest clearing jungler in the game. As a whole. Not in the first clear, but as a whole, she definitely is. If you guys enjoyed this Diana video, let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.